The last SAS template I made was over two years ago. I decided to share it with the internet and it ended up getting 35k views. A lot has changed since then, so I decided to rework it and share it with more people. This is currently my latest SAS folder structure that I use for pretty much every project except for minor variations in files. To use this template in your project, you can either click on use this template on GitHub or you can just download the SAS folder and include it in your current project and start using it. All links in the description. Okay, let's get back to the folders. There are six folders and one main style.scss file. Starting with the first folder, abstract. This folder is only used for SAS related things and nothing from this folder gets compiled into CSS. This is a place where you write all your variables, mixins, functions, placeholders, and etc. Next up, base folder. This folder contains base or generic styles for your project. This is where I put my reset styles, custom properties, and global styles that are not specific to any element. Also, I don't change any files in both abstract and base folder, since the architecture is usually the same in most of my projects. Components folder. As the name suggests, this folder holds all the styles for specific components used in the project. This can include buttons, cards, dropdown, input fields, and so on. This folder usually gets big if you have many reusable components in your website. And unlike components folder, layouts folder contains one level higher styles that are used to define the structure of your website. This can be things like header, footer, or sidebar of your website. Moving on, pages folder contains page specific styles that do not apply globally. For example, we cannot put header in pages folder since it's used in every page, but we can put the theme section styles in our about.scss file. Also, we can put the article related styles in our blog.scss file because they are only used or at least make sense in those pages. Similar to components folder, utilities folder holds specific styles for our project. But what is the difference? Let's take a text example. Let's say there is a class name called text highlight. When used in a project, its only purpose is to highlight the text and not interfere with other text styles. But you may say, why don't we put this in components folder? In components folder, styles are often encapsulated or a separate unit like a button, cards, or input fields. But in utilities folder, it's not a separate unit but rather changing the existing text to a different style. Another good example would be container class. I can use that container class anywhere in HTML and it wraps that element and sets a width to it. In other words, it does one thing and does it well. Also, we have a file called shame.scss. This is a concept I learned from SAS guidelines. Basically, if you feel like the style you wrote does not belong to any file or folder, you should put them in shame.scss file. We put this file at the very end of our style sheet, which we can use for debugging purposes as well. Also, this is an only file where you can freely use important or ID selector and go wild with them. But make sure to sort and filter them out once you have figured out a solution. You might have already noticed that each folder has a file called index.scss. This is because of use and forward. In old SAS, we used it to import files with import. Now we have a modern solution used which is created to replace the old import. Also, it comes with some other cool features, which you can read here. If you look at the index.scss files, we can see that there are only forwards, which is used to export the files within the folder. By doing this, I can import the whole folder at once instead of importing each file individually. And in our main style.scss file, we import the files with use method. If you want to use a variable or mixin from your abstract folder into your button.scss file, you can import it by writing use pass to abstract folder as star. Oftentimes, you will only need to import your abstract folder. That means this line never changes. So whenever you need to use anything from your abstract folder, just copy and paste this line and you are good to go. Fun fact, I have also used use and forward in my first SAS template two years ago. Last but not least, our main style.scss file, where everything gets merged into one place. And the order they are merged is also important since it defines which style should override the other. I made this diagram to show how files should be ordered. Feel free to inspect it on GitHub. And that's it. This folder structure was and is heavily inspired by the 7-1 pattern in SAS guidelines. 
as well as Kevin Powell's video on SaaS. So shout out to them. This was a start of I built something series where I share my interesting and cool projects and explain my thought process behind it. And as always, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one.